Good morning. Let me call the meeting to order. This is the time and place for the zoning, I mean, pardon me, the planning hearing officer hearings for November 16th, 2011. Uh, my name is Wolfgang Krauss, and I'll be the hearing officer today. Uh, we've got uh, two cases. One of them is actually going to be heard, and the exhibits are located on the panels directly behind me. Um, so we've got a conditional use permit application. The uh, the procedure is outlined in the municipal code regarding the required findings for various conditional use permits, so I won't go into that. Now, if the evidence presented today and in conjunction with the application meets the criteria to, uh, to uh, justify the findings, then I can approve the case. If not, then the request will be denied. Now, notification for this hearing was accomplished by the use of public notices which were mailed to uh, property owners located within 500 feet. And I think this one already has the occupants as well under the current regulations, okay. Physically posted on the site in question and placed in the local newspaper and also on the city's website. Now the hearing will proceed as follows. First I'll read a description of the application. Then I'll, uh, I'll make reference to any uh, significant comments from other departments or other communications. And I'll ask the uh, case planner, Mr. Nazarian, to give a brief overview and analysis and make a recommendation. Then I'll ask the applicant to come forward and uh, present the case within a 15-minute time limit. After that, anyone else can uh, speak either in opposition or in favor of the application within a three-minute time limit. And if necessary, I'll give the applicant a chance to make any closing comments to address uh, comments that may have been made by others within a five-minute time limit. After that, I'll close the hearing and take the case under submission. I'll be issuing a decision in writing. And uh, the, the decision will be in the form of a letter sent to the applicant and to all persons who responded to the public notice, either by speaking at the hearing or uh, having submitted written responses, uh, provided, of course, we have your name and mailing address. The date of the decision is the date that's on the letter. Now, under the appeal provisions of Title 30, Chapter 30.62, Glendale Municipal Code, the decision can be appealed to the Planning Commission within 15 days of the decision date. And the notice of appeal is filed with our uh, Building and Safety Division, our permit center here in uh, Room 101 of this building. And again, if you haven't already done so and you want to speak, fill out one of these speaker cards and provide it to staff. In addition to being on television, the hearing officers' hearings are recorded on tape as part of the public record. So let me open the first case today. Um, conditional use permit case number PCUP 2011-018. This is continued from November 2nd, 2011. It's at 1023 East Colorado Street, Unit D. Applicant is Domus Design. Owner is Colorado Shops, LLC. This is an application for a conditional use permit to allow the on-site sale service and consumption of distilled spirits at an existing full-service restaurant located at 1023 East Colorado Street, Unit D, in the C3 zone, uh, Commercial Service Zone, Height District 1, described as Lot 24, Block B, Wright and Calendars, Wrightlands Tract. Um, Mr. Nazarian, I understand they would like to continue yes. this case. Uh, good morning, Mr. Kraus. Per the applicant's request, staff uh, recommends continuing this case to date certain December 14 without further notice. Okay. And uh, as far as you know, there's nobody here nobody. from the applicant. Okay. Correct. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm um, going to continue uh, case number PCUP 2011-018 to December 14th, 2011, without further public notice. Open the next case, case number, conditional use permit, case number, I'm sorry, is there variance? You know, it's just, all right, that's what I thought. Uh, this is conditional use permit case number PCUP 2011-022. Applicants Sergio Gonzalez and Shin Ri. The owner is Arnold Day. 
And uh, this is an application for a conditional use permit to allow the continued operation of a church facility located at 1020 West Kenneth Road in the R1 low-density single-family residential zone, floor area ratio district 1, described as lots 3, 4, and 5, track number 10597. Now let's see what we have. As I recall, there weren't any significant comments. That's correct. Okay. And I don't think we've got some email. Did you want to go into any any um, comments from the public that you received? Did you get anything? I uh, did receive one email in favor of the project, okay. and I have put it in the file for your review. Okay. All right, then. So then let's go straight to the applicant, uh, Sergio Gonzalez. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I'm the applicant um, with Osborne Architects on behalf of New Life Christian Church. Um, the findings will actually be, uh, be read out by the pastor, Pastor Arnold. Okay. Um, the only, um, I guess, deviation is uh, a request for an extended uh, renewal of 20 years. Um, and we also have some members of the community and, and neighbors that would also like to speak on behalf of of the church as well. Okay, no physical changes proposed to the site at all? Uh, no, we, right now we have, we have approval for ADA upgrades um, for the restroom, so that, that's also positive. Okay, no external changes proposed? There is um, a ramp that will be going, uh, ADA accessible ramp going um, uh, into the church. Okay, is that on your plan? Uh, it is not. Is it going to affect parking? It is not. Okay. All right. And and you already have approval for that? Yes, you already we do. have a okay. And I have the drawings here if you. Okay. Pastor Arnold. Okay, Mr. Is it Doy? Doy, that's it. Okay. Thank you. So I can read the fact finding. Okay. Uh huh. It says, how will the proposed use be consistent with the various elements and objectives of this general plan. Uh, the church is surrounded by both residential and commercial lots. This is a community oriented church that, looking, that looks for opportunity to reach out and serve the neighborhood. The church has partnered with the local merchants and homeowners association on various events. B, why will the proposed use and its associated structures and facilities not be detrimental to the public health, safety, or general welfare, or to the environment. The church strives to promote public health and safety for the community. The church hosts neighborhood watches. In addition, the church held a Northwest Glendale Homeowners Association event that allowed the public to shred old documents with the aim of preventing identity theft. In regards to public health, the church has put on free health seminars for the community on a variety of topics. The church volunteers at the Glendale Salvation Army and has organized multiple food drives for them. Uh, B, why will the proposed use and facilities not adversely affect or conflict with adjacent use or impede the normal development of surrounding properties? The church wants to be involved with the community and to benefit the surrounding properties. The church hosts the monthly local Kenneth Village Merchants Association meetings. They participate in their annual fall festival. The church also puts on a safe, uh, fun harvest festival for the neighborhood every October. And D, how, explain how adequate public and private facilities such as utilities, landscaping, parking space, and traffic uh, circulation uh, measures are or will be provided for the proposed use. This is an existing church facility which already has uh, utilities, landscaping, pub public spaces in place. Access to public space is provided through existing driveways on both Kennett Road and Bruce Avenue. So those are the uh, things that deal with the fact finding. Okay. Um. As far as the uh, use of the facility, has it been this way since the last approval? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. 
And as far as you know, you were complying with all of the conditions? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. I, I also want to say a word of thanks. There are people that have come to support us from the police department, homeowners, neighbors, and the Kenneth merchants. And I want to express my appreciation to them uh, for being here. I also have letters in support of okay. us. Sure. Uh, if we don't have those, you can give those to me now. And then Gavorg, I guess, should have had you go first. So now that we've heard from the applicant, I'll, I'll let you make the presentation. Okay. Uh, as you mentioned, this is a uh, renewal of an existing conditional use permit, case number 2, PCUP 2011-022, located at 1020 West Kennet Road. The existing CUP that was granted in September of September 29 of 2006 did expire on September 29 of 2011. By the way, there's a typo on the staff report. It says September 14, 2011, it should say 29. This application was submitted on September 15, which means 14 days prior to its expiration. Okay. Subject property is approximately 23,000 square foot lot with two structures on it. The main building is approximately 7,900 square feet and the smaller structure is 950 square feet with, with 49 parking spaces on site. The church and its facilities has existed on this site for since the 1950s and has not proven to be detrimental to the neighborhood. The R1 zone is zoned for single family uses, however, variety of family oriented uses and non-residential uses are also allowed if conditional use permit can be granted. This subject property is actually less than or within 100 feet of the intersection of Kenneth Village, which is occupied by other commercial uses and in fact the use directly to the west is also a commercial use. So staff believes that due to the fact that it has existed there for over 50 years has not proven to be that detrimental to the neighborhood and there are no outstanding or major concerns or complaints related to this use. Staff recommends approval with the originally stated conditions, standard conditions, with one change, okay. which is to extend the expiration date from five to ten years. So you've got 14 recommended conditions? Then. Right. Okay. And as far as you know, what are, is there any history of um, non-compliance with any of the older conditions from the old case? Not that I know of it. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, next speaker, Peter Fouad. Uh, good morning. My name is Peter Fouad. I'm president of the Northwest Glendale Homeowners Association. I would like to echo what the staff uh, report recommends, that this CUP be granted and be extended for 10 years. Uh, we have dealt a number of times with the church. They are very active in the community, helping us to uh, community events such as shredding, uh, canned food drives. Uh, they are a good neighbor. Uh, the fact that they have lots of parking uh, means, that I, to my knowledge, their parking has never been an issue or an impact in the neighborhood. And it really is just an extension of the commercial district. I, I would almost say it's a fluke that is zoned R1. It's really just an extension of the commercial district. So I would uh, vigorously endorse uh, renewal of the CUP uh, for 10 years. Thank okay, you. thank you. Um, is it Mar Mary Buenavides? Is that correct? I, um, I'm Mary Bonavides and I live on uh, Bruce, and I'm also the captain of the Neighborhood Watch, and we hold the meeting at their um, facility, and they've been very helpful, at, you know, helping us with all the uh, setting up the meeting there, and they've asked us if we want to use it more than once a year, and they're a great asset, I think, to the community, and we've never had any, I live right on the street, we don't have any problem with parking or, or any problem at all with them. We've been... Um, very grateful to have them there, actually. So I recommend to keep them. Okay, thank you. Okay. And finally, is it Doug Kawamura? Is that right? 
Hi, uh, my name is Doug Kawamura. I'm a trustee with the church and a member of the church. I own, um, uh, I'm also a business owner within Glendale. Uh, I'm a partner with Hutchison Bloodgood LLP, which are on we're on uh, Broadway and Brand, uh, the oldest and largest CPA firm in Glendale. Uh, uh, I highly recommend that you know we uh, that um, you approve the uh, extension of the uh, the conditional use permit for 20 years. It's been a horrendous uh, uh, task on, on behalf of the trustees to go through the process and learn and, and m make sure we dot all the I's and cross the T's. And uh, I've been there for the last three years as trustee and right. making sure that you know the painting has been done and the repair of the roof and all the structure and everything else. And we're, we're you know, moving forward and we're trying to improve the, the, the church uh, with the um, handicap related bathrooms, restrooms. And um, so if you could please uh, consider the 20 year conditional use permit, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, applicant, did you want to make any closing comments or? No, uh, I was just come on forward. Then. <laughs> As you can see, uh, the community is completely behind um, this church and. Um, we would uh, appreciate if you would take into account, um, you know. I know you want more, a little more time. And uh, the, 20, uh, the 20 years would, would be much appreciated as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Then I'll close this case, uh, take it under submission, and I'll, as I said, I'll be issuing a decision in writing fairly soon. And um, that, I think, concludes today's hearings. So we are adjourned. Thank you for coming. <laughs>